All right, we are back. I'm actually playing with the controller now. Well, it might take me a little bit of time to get used to that. We'll see. But this game doesn't use a touch screen, so I figure, why not? <laughs> and again, I remind you, since I don't have a actual physical DS capture card, I have to emulate these. So usually, I play these on a mouse and keyboard, so that I can actually use a mouse for the touch screen if I have to. But if it's one of those games that doesn't use the touch screen at all, then I figure I might as well just use an actual controller for comfort and reliability, since my keyboard doesn't work that well these days. Although my controller has also had reliability issues. You know what? You just get one. Alright. But uh, we do have some money, but I don't think it's necessarily worth trying to upgrade stuff. Is it? There was that one board we could buy that was better. I think it ended up giving us in the end uh, something slightly better. Honestly, it won't even be much better than six shot anyway, so I might as well just keep using six shot. You only get barely enough money in this game. Maybe it's another story if you keep getting all of the uh, gold stars. Or if you, maybe you can make money by doing quick play over and over, I'm not sure. But maybe it's another story of keeping gold stars to get extra money, but it feels like I only barely get enough money to actually do anything useful. And I get other things for free, so. Alright, a build is good. Like collectibles. Uh, so excuse me if it takes me a moment to get used to this again. Yeah, it's night time, look at you. I am not even supposed to go faster, that's not the point. I don't know if I ever saw all of Sandy's animations though. It's really good if I go fairly slow here, so. I don't complain. So I have capsize. Wake and shake. And then battle. For some reason, two of the buttons are bound to the same trick. I don't know why they do that. Nope, oh, never mind. I, the gold star thing isn't all that great anyway, since if you miss any of them, you don't get any of the bonus, so it doesn't really feel worth the effort. Or is the bonus that great, I don't think? Just getting, like, double the money? Whoopsie. Oh no, I missed that star, but I wouldn't have gotten anything for it to start with, since I missed the first one. I feel, I feel like it would be better if just each star individually gave you money instead. So I always have some motivation to pick up a star that I see. So being able to say, well, I missed one, so the others are all completely useless now. There you go. Huh, okay, so you can actually fall off you. How was it? Was it because I hit the, the top of the wake? I'm not sure what made me fall there, if it was me hitting something, or if it was me, me hitting the top of the wave. Oh well. Oh, we unlocked stickers finally. I don't know why, but... Don't this... Do maybe the stars would give me 250 here instead of just 100? But... Last time. Whoops. Yes, the absorbing challenge of one sponge pitting himself against Mother Nature and going really, really fast. Or everyone else. The Krabs family vacation, and they were nice enough to invite me to go along. We went on a tour of the Bikini Bottom Mint. I like mints. Silly Patrick, the mint is where they make all of Bikini Bottom's money. And the best bit of the tour was thwarting the thieving criminals who tried to steal all the money. Sounds dangerous. For a normal person, it would be, my friend, but not for someone who knows karate! No, I mean, it sounds dangerous to try and take money away from Mr. Krabs. Ah, so true! So true! Wonderful. Yeah, though, the, the one thing that always throws me off about the DS is the A and B buttons are compared to other systems. The A and B buttons, the forward and backward buttons, are kind of swapped. At least in the last 
That's one of those weird things. In the in the east, usually the circle button is select and X is cancel, but it's often reversed in things released in the west, which <laughs> took me a while to get used to in the case of sort of slower, but I get turn faster. What was collectible? Okay, well in that case, turn. Seems better. Yeah, so I played Key Marts 2 Final Mix when well, I switched from the original uh, NTSC version of that, NTSC US that is, where you would have, for instance, circle to jump and X to attack. It was switched when I played the Japanese release for Key Marts 2 Final Mix because I was old school and played the actual PS2 release of Final Mix. So I had to relearn all the, ooh, relearn all the uh, bindings there. Oh, whoops! I wasn't trying to do that. Oh yeah, that messes up your. It is weird how that changes your. Okay, yeah, I so totally had a way of seeing that coming. controller bindings was not fun, but like, I really need to be careful about doing these tricks. Because for some reason it just cancels your entire job. Is that the entire stunt? That was not very interesting. That was not very impressive. Wow. Faster, Patrick. There you go. That was not many collectibles, eh? Yeah, I was kind of messing around the whole time. Patrick's having a whole range of emotions today. Thank you, Smoke God. Yeah, I was messing around with the tricks. Again, haven't played in a week, so I'm trying to get used to controls and whatnot again. For some reason, this game is not very responsive with you trying to move forwards and backwards. I don't know why that is. This time I'll make sure not to do the tricks that will actually make me stop moving. I don't know why they make it do that to start with. Oh, you can actually turn in the air. Okay, hold on. Did I not? Oh, I never quite understood. Okay. So that explains part of that. So you actually press up and down while you're in the air to turn. I did not understand it that way. Darn, you need to not do tricks when you're... So here I go in the air and then I press up and down. That's how it works. Okay. I was thinking you pressed up and down as you were reaching the jump to start with. So I don't know why I have such trouble doing going from the forward foreground to the background and vice versa while I'm stop slowing me down. Shiny thing! There you go, I'm actually on the ground. Yes, I need to be careful not to do tricks when I'm stuff I run into. There we go. Lord. Look at the shiny stars. They're shiny and starry. Victory is good. That one line didn't really even sound like Patrick. That was kind of weird. Anyways, win the race. Are we actually racing against someone?
Like, hey, a much better board. <laughs> Why bother buying anything? I get stuff for free. It is such a strange idea. I can just get free good boards or spend all my money to get boards that are almost equivalent. Okay, no, we're not racing against anyone. Let's just finish quickly. Strange, but okay. Come on, I bounced off the corner. Not even kind of, Patrick. That's a different trick I remember doing. Sometimes end up. I don't know what makes these times fall over. I'm trying to get on things like that. I'm not the player going to serve this to this day. I know. That's what it is. Because the buttons changed. The range of the buttons is effectively different now. There you go. Patrick is an enemy of Beautiful. See, why can't I... Whatever. Yeah, I was having trouble doing that special trick earlier. Why? Because... The range of the buttons changed. When I changed the controller. Because the DS is weird. Honestly, the right thing to do would probably just be to... Just get your awesome to full, and then just keep going. Like, not even really press anything the whole time. Maybe just for fun, do an enigma every now and then. Maybe do this. I'm the key to going fast is just having an awesome meter full, and that's kind of it. It's not really what the idea of a race is here. Yeah, a new board for everything at once, too. See? Life is so much easier if I just don't buy things myself. Uh, th thank you for assuring me that. I, was, I wasn't wondering. Now I'm suspicious. I could do tricks to get my awesome meter full, but I don't think you actually have to to get your speed up. Do you? the sound effect makes sense that time. Go Patrick, go. I guess we haven't surfaced Patrick before, have we? Come on. Oh, they're pretty generous on the time limits on these too, darn it. At least you have stuff to dodge. Hey, stop Here. Me down. Yes. But it's still pretty easy. I should sure the challenge is supposed to be on the races. Well, at least it makes more sense here. Than it does on this cable. Not quite. Of course, it's a lot harder if you knock yourself over. <laughs> I tried. See, this is what happens when you get... Nine, two, 
get too confident in yourself. You get complacent. Not that I was doing great the whole time or anything, but... Yeah, I don't know if you can actually completely fill your awesome without doing tricks. Although, honestly, it might be worthwhile to just do this. And not worry too much about being at the awesome meter. Although, at the same time, I could just. Okay, it's a lot better if you do tricks at a sensible time. Get your speed up and then just dodge things, I guess, is really the whole idea. And then not do that. I guess you just need to not hit the top if you're not going to turn at all. Hitting the top too gently just leads to falling over. There we go. Yeah. Just getting speed and keeping it. Patrick is the winner! Okay. What? What is happening in the background? No, what? Explain. I still don't get what the game means by saying I... Well... Well, it said... When I, it says I unlocked a bunch of stages, it's kind of weird because I still can only play them in order. <laughs> I can't go back. But I guess it means I'll have a quick play. Anyways, more of this next time, I guess.